Hey peeps, Candace here with Cam's Only One Life with a little, just a little show and tell. Um, I made these little boho tassels to go on my journals and I also have a little crafting tip. So um, this is the first one that I made. So these are kind of experiments and I'm still figuring out how to make these, um, how much fibers to use. Um, this one could use a few little beads on there, but it came out alright. And then this one, I noticed the back part of this was a lot thinner, and I thought that actually made it look really cool. So, there's that one. And then this one... I put a lot more on this one. My hands are not working very well today. Um, so it actually has a front and a back. Most of these just have one side. All the fibers are on one side. But I decided. Um, I had a hard time getting the seed beads on these little pins. Oops, my hands aren't working. It's one of those days. Okay. Here's one. I like this. I like this material. It's really pretty. I don't have this material in my store, by the way, and I'm not putting these in my store. Um, this one, I loved having the different colors and the little gold at the bottom. So I was happy with that one. And I got these little dangle parts from the Dangle Farm. This one here kind of bummed me out because um, I think I put too much on it and covered up this beautiful material. So I trimmed some of it away. Cut in. So I trimmed some of it away, and um, it's still it's kind of a big fat glob there. Okay. And then I'm just going to show you this one, because this one, I used two pieces of ribbon, and this one underneath came from um, this gal we call her our daughter. She's a an exchange student from Thailand and she brought this back to me, this silk, and I haven't been able to cut into it until now. I've had it for a year in my stash and I finally was like, okay, I'm just going to use it. But I layered those and so I thought those actually went together pretty good. So I like the cobalt blue. Okay, so my tip for today, if I can get my cat to move, is I was... Um, my craft room has been very cold. We're trying to keep our heating bill down, so the craft room's out in a closed-in carport, so it takes quite a bit to get the heat out there and to heat it. So because of that, I have not been... I can't go out there. It's like 50 degrees out there. So I've been bringing stuff in, bringing stuff in, bringing stuff in, and I go to work, and I'm like, oh, I need a craft mat because I'm going to be inking. And I didn't... Number one, I didn't want to run back out there, but number two, all my craft mats out there have stuff on them. So I just ran, looked at the stash I brought in, and I just grabbed the 12 by 12 back of a 12 by 12 pad because the side is kind of shiny. And so I used it. Here's all the ink that I ended up on it. But this is great because I'm going to keep this and use this for my inside craft mat for when I'm just sort of portable craft mat for inside so there you go i hope you have a great day uh see you on wednesday for wednesday's deals and destash